Hello again. Now, time for something a little different, because in uh, looking at... Oh. <laughs> in looking at... Um, uh, Mario's uh, previous video, I discovered that he had an option Uh, based on what palette you chose, you could change him Select to your hero. Final Balrog, the, the final boss from Astro Fighter 3. So what I so what I did is I took and actually split him off and, and made the two options distinct characters. So here we have the original normal. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the final one through a trial. I'm gonna start him off against the normal version. Gotta do it in stage. Sorry about that, I accidentally clicked in the window for a second, which automatically unpaused it. Hey. Clicked, all tabbed. That's gonna leave a mark. Look. Mm. 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 
<laughs> that was interesting. Dude, you had a shot at his back. Why didn't you take it? Get yourself out of the corner, dude. Pardon me. Then you bust it out. Try that again. Select your heroes. This time with their sort of default pal. Well. <laughs> They're not default pallets. Default pallet in at least one case. That was not quite what I had in mind. Hang on a second, I'm gonna get the pallets I actually want. Here we go. Remember, the boss version has the steel gray color. Mm. You're really good at dodging that. They're both really good at dodging hypers. <laughs> Ironically, it seems like the uh, the normal version reacts faster sometimes. What? <laughs> Dude, why didn't you punish that? He's a little too defensive a lot of times. Battle 2! Fight! 
fish one more month. Alright. Oh, I got that taken care of. Oh, come on, you can't let a lesser version of you get beat up like that. That's the way you do it! What you got? I sure like teleporting. You notice how his eyes turn red when he teleports? That's pretty sweet. Oh, I thought he had that one. That's okay. <laughs> right then. Let's switch him over to well. Mm. Let's see. I got a couple of the versions of him, like. Oh! <laughs> 
I wish I could read that. Oh, come on, man. Knock it off. I should have done this in his stage. Go! I'm gonna pause the, gonna pause the recording until he's done digging it. Right. There we go. Classic technique, anytime he did that. I'd, I'd block it, and he'd always end up right next to me and throw his ass. Or I'd pummel him some other way if I could pull it off. Throw him, or I'm sure you can him, or something like that. Depending on who I was playing. Or if I was playing, like, Guile. If I was playing Guile, I'd I'd block it low and frickin' flash kick him afterwards. Sometimes if I if I got a little if I was really on the ball, I'd actually flash kick him out of it. Oh! Well done. Select your hero. Alright. Let's see. Who else might I be able to pull? Oh, I know. Well, MVC2 action here. Oh no, that's... It's Apocalypse Now, isn't it? Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna check on that real quick. Just a moment. Never mind. Neither version, either of these versions actually has their own stage. It's interesting to consider. All of the MVC series up through two, that includes, you know, X Men vs. Street Fighter and all those. Ooh. Um, all of them take place before t before Street Fighter two. In their timeline, because he still has his, has his zero appearance. Sit down. 
you know, basically all of the Street Fighter characters are are, are uh, they're, they're zero they're, they're zero versions. Assuming they were in zero, of course. Which I, th I think all of them were. I don't think I can't think of any offhand who were not in zero. Wow, he's good. Select your hero. Alright, let's see. Let's go to. Let's go to his Capcom vs. SNK version. Oh, let's see. Do I have a stage for him? Kind of don't think so. Let me check. Uh, awesome. Ooh, I do have a stage for him. Whoa, too far. Here we go. Inochiga Oshikunai Yodama. Welcome back to the stage of history. Tamai! Oh no, the CBS series actually takes place right around the right around the same time span as Street Fighter 2. That was interesting. I like his motion to his power. That's pretty cool. Nice parry. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> seen him do that. That was pretty awesome. I like the sound effect there. With the, with the uh, psycho power strike. Interesting, his, uh, his zero counter is actually kind of empty. He doesn't even attack, he just teleports. Weird. And unfortunately, his AI does not appear to be all that great. Select your hero. Well, let's see what other versions we can dig up here. Um, well, actually, I think that's about it. Apart from the dead, the top from the heart, from dead Balrog and God Balrog, but those are both sort of yeah. All right. Um. I'll throw a couple of random opponents at him. I see... Gaul? Yep. Gaul! 
魔の侍魂見せてみよう That was well played. Stop guarding. Let's go one more. Select your heroes. <laughs> Sailor Mars. Welcome back to the stage of history. I suddenly have this urge to try and find myself a version of Nappa, who when knocked out goes, It's over, not or no, Vegeta, who knocked out will get Or no, it has an intro where, where, where Vegeta's there and you know, the scouter say on a power level. It's over nine thousand! Either at the end of the intro or at the beginning of his uh, KO line, he goes. Now at the end of it, and then it ends the intro by going, "What nine thousand? And then when he gets knocked out, he goes, "That's impossible!" <laughs> Unfortunately, I doubt anybody's done that. <laughs> nice done. I suppose it would actually make sense that he's a defensive sword since his, uh, most of his, uh, attacks are charge. Which his attacks are charges. Ow! Oh! 
Alright, well. Select your heroes. That's enough for this, uh, for this video. We'll throw him up against some of the. We'll, we'll, we'll put him up against the usual suspects next time. Later.